A few months ago, I was able to grab a used Canon 5D Mark II for a sensationally low price and with only 50,000 actuations. I was itching to use it as a movie camera. After all, the Mark II has the reputation of having revolutionized its segment back in the day. So I slapped on the 24-105L to lens and went out for a walk. And here is what I got. Let's first get all the things out of the way that you won't get with a 5D Mark II. No 60p shooting, no IBIS, no 4K, no focus peaking, no autofocus with filming, no face detect autofocus in live view, no real log profile, no outstanding low light performance, almost no dynamic range, no SD card support, no second card slot, no clean HDMI out and many more. Well, this at least shows that modern DSLRs and mirrorless cameras have advanced quite a bit if you want to use them as a movie camera. But does this exclude the 5D from being a capable film camera? For professionals, yes. For vloggers who need reliable autofocus, definitely. For amateur movie makers like myself, well, judge for yourselves. I was using the C-Log profile in all the shots, a crutch that helps to get a more or less flat color profile, but not a real log in the end. Still I was able to color correct the footage to my liking in post. What really challenged me was the shallow dynamic range. On the camera display highlights seemed to be fine, but they were unsalvageable in post. Here it really helps to underexpose a bit. Everything I did was in manual of course, aperture, ISO, focus and the built-in focus magnification helped a lot there. Setting the camera up for each shot works quite quickly when you get a hang of the dials and buttons on the 5D2. They are solid and well positioned as you would expect from a pro veteran DSLR. I knew that with 24p there would be no headroom for slow motion at all, so I took along my monopod, a tripod and even did some pans handheld. The last one was helped by the stabilization in the lens, but doing a slow pan like this still was a pain. Well, something more to practice I guess. In terms of sharpness, I wasn't blown away by the 5D's output. It took some tweaking in post as well to get the shots to look a bit crisper in the end. Even my Lumix LX100 delivers better in that regard. But as a verdict, I can only say that I was having great fun logging around this brick of a DSLR outdoors. Setting up each shot patiently and consciously. I would not bring that one to a commercial shot. There's better stuff out there today. But I will hang on to my 5D2 for landscape, artsy or architecture stuff in my free time. I hope this video was to your liking and maybe you will consider getting the 5D Mark II as well. Paired with some good glass, the results are quite acceptable in fact. Just don't rely on it for a living. So what do you think? Is the 5D Mark II worth it today? If you have suggestions on other quirky cams I should try out, let me know in the comments. Until then, stay quirky.